point, oh, and down he shot. goes! Callum Simpson is one to watch. Incredible amount of punches. I said to you I likened you to Joe Calzaghi before, and I'll say it again. There's so many similarities in there. It will be the next three fights won an English title and be managed for the British. Jack Holland won the British title in the Commonwealth. That's in the rear view, that's it, that's straight ahead. That obviously I've got Jermaine Brown to deal with first on the 3rd of September, but yeah, in the very near future, obviously, I want to, that, that's a fight we definitely want. All bands that you also come out and support me. Yeah! Well, the best kept secret in British boxing is not a secret anymore, Callum. That was a brilliant performance, mate. You made a statement. Yeah, like I said, obviously, I wanted to make a statement. I feel like I've done that. I dropped him in the first round and then dropped him in the third. And it looked about on, on his legs, but that referee seen me, seen what I can do when, when people are hurt and he's seen the damage I can cause. So he'd done the best thing for him and just stopped it. Callum, for those that don't know much about you, what can they expect to see? My next few fights, I think um, straight at the top 10 really is obviously Jack Kilgan and Jermaine Brown, Zach Chelly. Your opponent on Saturday night is nicknamed El Phenomeno. Can we expect something phenomenal from you? I had to do it, sorry. <laughs> Can we expect something phenomenal on Saturday? Yeah, from myself, yeah, from myself. Not sure about him, but uh, yeah, from, from myself, definitely. We believe this guy is on that level and can go even further. And so, delighted, obviously, with a new signing, but also with Callum, a future superstar. I'm looking forward to, to getting on Sky and obviously fighting a probably more credible opponent. And like I say, uh, Neves who's actually going to come and is going to come in to win. Johnny was saying, obviously, my opportunity now, my, my time to shine. I've been been doing this. I started when I boxing when I was nine. Been doing it seven, oh, 17 years. You know, I've not gone to the Olympics or done the things that amateur that Fraser's done. But you know, I've done. A, I put a lot of hard work in for like the past past 17 years. I've had 50 amateur fights, 10 pro fights. Been on them small old shows. Um, and yeah, now I'm on that big stage and I'm gonna grab it both hands. Yeah. You reminded me of a, a very famous fight, probably the best fight in this country's ever produced in Joe Calzaghi. Did he have any influence on you growing up as a young child or because of the similarities there of you and him? I've got a few, few aspects of my style that are similar to that, but I think I've got a little bit of a, a lot of different boxers, to be honest, that I like um, them. Like, I like them, like, you know, like your Tommy Hearn, your Sugar Ray Leonard, a little ball or corn, stuff like that. And I, and I like to, um, once I get into my zone, into my rhythm, I, I, like, I'm, I, feel, I just feel like a certain way and I, can, you can do, I feel I can do whatever I want, you know, when, you, when you're in that zone. The stage is set, ladies and gentlemen. We're going live on Sky Sports Showcase, Sky Sports Main Event, Sky Sports Action, everywhere on Sky Sports. It is Boxer Fight Night live from Manchester. Well, he has shifted some tickets. I can count three Barnsley flags at least. There's one of them. The Barnsley faithful are making themselves heard in here at the O Arena for Callum Simpson. It's a boxer and Sky Sports debut for the big punching 26 year old central area champion who's developed a real reputation on the smaller hall circuit. So much so that he could no longer be ignored and Ben Shalom was keen to get him under the promotional banner. He fights out of Barnsley, South Yorkshire, England. Introducing the current reigning Central Area Super Middleweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Callum Simpson. Starting sharp here already, getting that jab out, hooking up it, putting combinations together. Very good, fast start here from him. Yeah, to be expected, Callum Simpson really pouring it on in the early stages here. Oh, big right hand catches Neves on the clinch, and down he goes. What a start for Callum Simpson. Let's just take a look at Neves. He takes a few steps towards Darren Sargentson, has the head cleared, brutally stung early. 
just tries to answer back with a right hand of his own, but it's a dream start for the Barnsley man. That was a dominant, brutal first three minutes for Callum Simpson on his boxer and Sky Sports debut. I mean, it couldn't have gone any better. Yeah, dream start. You know, won the first round of the 10-8 round as well. Oh, good left hook there. Nice long left hook counter as Neves. He's got to be careful, Neves doesn't want to fall short with those right hand leads or get clipped. Neves has got three losses, but he's only been stopped once and that was by Podrick McCrory. And that was a fight that Neves was having a little bit of success, but McCrory is a really spiteful puncher himself. And, but Neves is there, he's still letting his own hands go. go, 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 go. Prediction. Any boxer will be lying for this and they don't want to knock out, you know, we, we all want to stop the jaw and knock out. Oh, oh, oh and there he goes. Huge right hand from Simpson. That could be a finisher. Neves was looking to get his own right hand off. He bravely gets to his feet, but that's all she wrote. Callum Simpson, now you know. There's a lot of confidence as well, isn't there, surrounding Callum? Do you like that, Natasha? Yeah, I think um, you know he's got a lot to be confident about. He's undefeated. He's in a you know a very exciting division domestically, and and you, you come out on your Sky Sports debut after being on small halls and do that. Yeah, you've got. I say you've got to be. You've got to be confident. If you don't believe in yourself, then we're going we're to believe in you. And then it's like I would. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be. Wanting to sign with with boxer Sky, I wouldn't be in the sport if I didn't believe in believe in myself. If I didn't believe I couldn't perform and and go all the way. I won't, won't waste my time. It's hard. It's hard enough. Never mind if you don't if you don't believe in yourself. Yeah. What's the roadmap for you now? Let's get say the next 12 months. You know how active are you looking to be and where do you want to be? You know, are you looking at like British titles in the next 12 months? Where you tell me. Yeah, I'm looking for by the end of this year. I want an English at least 100%, and I want to manage for British Commonwealth. That's where I want to be by the end of this year.